What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and I'm back on my Red Sox franchise. This series, we're finally back at home at Fenway Park. We're 83 and 59 coming into this one. Got around an eight game lead on the Toronto Blue Jays who are second in the division in the AL East. Now right away, top of the first, Adam Jones makes us pay with a home run over the monster. It's kind of a theme with this season for me. I might need to actually turn down the power slider um, you know, for the computer, but honestly, I think it's also just kind of my fault in pitching, but hey, that's all good. And also something to be aware of, Hanley Ramirez is back in the lineup. That was his first at bat back after almost a two month um, kind of hiatus or, you know, injury, uh, you know, um, hiatus. I don't even know what other, another word for it, but basically he was gone for almost two months. You guys know that. And he's finally back and it's huge. I cannot wait to get him back in the lineup and he makes a big impact um, right away. And I really, really enjoy that. Uh, as he scores right here from second base, showing off the wheels and showing that even though he was injured, he can still move a little bit. Now, that's very nice. We tied the game up one to one. And then uh, Rick Porcello on the hill still here in the top of the third inning. Rick Porcello, of course, won the American League Cy Young. Didn't even win the most first place votes. Justin Verlander did, but kind of funny. And hopefully uh, Porcello can make an impact like that in this season as well. Don't really think he's going to have a chance at, at uh, Cy Young, but hey, you never know. Um, but right there, we strike him out, but unfortunately could not get the out at first as it was a wild pitch. And then the next batter up gets a base hit to score a run. And that's really not what we want to see. You know, really had a chance to shut that inning down. Honestly, did shut it down by getting the strikeout. And instead, they get a run across. Now here on the top of the fourth inning, Jonathan Scope turns on a high and inside fastball. That one's over the monster as well. See, pitches like that, I don't really think um, I should be giving up home runs on them. Obviously, if I miss it, if I miss the pitch and it ends up being more inside than I want it, or more um, you know over the plate than I want it to be, then hey, it's fair enough, and you know it's it's obviously makes sense that they could hit that one out. But if it's actually high and inside and I hit the pitch correctly, don't think they should be able to uh, you know punch that over the monster. But hey, like I said, it's going to be a combination of factors whether I lower the sliders of their power or um, you know just try to make better pitches as well. So we get a steal there after a base hit with Moncada. And then right there, bam, Andrew Benintendi going to be off the monster. I thought it might get out instead off the wall, getting us a run back. And we're only down three to two now. Very nice double for Benintendi right there here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Then Dustin Pedroia right here just to shortstop. I thought this was an easy out. Instead, J.J. Hardy boots it a little bit. And Pedroia reaches at first. And uh, we got first and second. We got something cooking here. Then Xander Bogarts to third. This looks like an easy double play. Instead, Scope throws it into the stands. Buckshaw Walter can't believe it, and we get the run across, tying the game at three. A huge play right there in this one. Now here in the bottom of the 10th inning as we move into extra innings, Brad Brock on the hill for the Orioles, and Xander Bogarts leads off with a base hit. Mookie's going to take over for him at first base, though. And, um, you know, after a productive out, or not even a productive out, but after an out, um, and then uh, David Ortiz delivers for us a base hit into the right center field gap. That's going to move Mookie over to third base with that great speed. And then who else but Hanley Ramirez steps to the plate in the bottom of the 10th inning with a chance to win it. Looking for a good pitch on a 3-2 count. Hanley, what can he do? And whack! Way out of here. I was honestly freaking out. It was literally his first game back after almost two months missed. And he hits a walk-off moonshot over the monster. Unreal. Can't believe it, and it was just a you know kind of a storybook ending to this game. Really cool to see Hanley Ramirez hit a walk-off home run. Obviously not real life. Obviously you know it doesn't have all those emotions that would have come in with that, but it's still cool to think about what it would be like if that happened in real life. Guy comes back after a long-term injury, hits a walk-off home run in his first game back. Pretty cool, and also a big win for us too because that finally you know got us going a little bit. That's our second win in a row after a six-game losing streak, which really had us in a big tailspin. So we're looking to uh, kind of improve on that as we move along and hopefully into the playoffs. Now, they get a base hit here. Again, in the top of the first inning, we really are having you know issues in the first innings of almost all of our games, which is just not good. You don't want to see that, of course. You want to get off to a good start in every single game. But right here, we give up a three-run home run right around the pesky pole. Just wraps around it. Uh, that one hurt. I'm not going to lie. You know, that one, I kind of knew that it was a bad pitch right when I let it go. And uh, sadly, he was just able to put it out. It made it even worse that it was so close to being foul. And instead, it's, it goes for three runs. So we're looking to you know, strike right back here in the bottom of the first inning. Xander up, and he gets a base hit. Been hitting a lot better lately, a lot of singles, which is exactly what we need from Bogarts. Uh, so we definitely love that. And then Mookie up next. He is going to crank one to right field. Almost the same spot. Look at this one. Get out. And instead, this one you know, drops down in fair territory. Uh, we do like that, and thankfully it stays in the yard so that we can actually score from first with Xander and also get a triple with Mookie and possibly set up an extra run. Instead, we didn't, but hey, we'll take the run, and it's now 3-1. to one. Now, Adam Jones hit a home run in the first game and hits a home run in game number two as well. 
a very similar shot this time a little bit quicker out of the park but hey it counts for the same and a solo home run for Adam Jones not what we want to see and David Price not having a great game in this one I believe I did strike out 11 but right here again gives another home run this time to Manny Machado who was just killing us I could not pitch to him at all I couldn't figure out how to do it I probably walked him like three times in the series and also gave up a couple home runs as well not what we want to see Machado with his 98th career home run as you guys see right there now Xander Bogarts at the dish right here right now gets a base hit through very nice gotta love that for Xander uh, like I said he's just been killing it lately just doing really really well and um, you know hopefully he can keep improving and get his average up a little bit and also help our team out a little bit more than he had been earlier in the year now Mookie takes a walk right there not too bad at all David Ortiz up next, 2-2 count. He is going to ground right up the middle, right past Jonathan Scope at second base. And Xander is going to be able to score from second base on that one. Getting us a little bit closer in this one, trying to chip away as, you know, as slowly as we can, but as uh, efficiently as we can as well. Now in the seventh inning here again, Manny Machado. Once again, this one a home run to the triangle in center field. Very nice shot for Machado. Uh, right around 420 feet, which is very impressive. His 99th career home run as uh, the show shows us right there. So here in the bottom of the eighth inning, uh, Hanley Ramirez up, and he's going to rip one on the left field line. Thought about going for two on this one instead. We're, hit, we're hanging at first base. Would have easily been out. No problem, except that ball did get away. So maybe not, but hey, no big deal. Now Blake's wired up, two outs. Adam Jones going to be able to over, go over to make this catch. Instead, he misses it. I don't know what he's doing. Adam Jones, a gold glove winner, and... Um, Really just misses that one, but I make a terrible mistake. Was a little bit too aggressive. Blake Swire thrown out at third, trying to take that extra base. And that's my fault. You know, I got to chill with the aggressiveness sometimes. It is kind of the DNA of this series is being a lot really, really aggressive. But uh, sometimes it backfires on you. And, hey, I guess we shouldn't have gone to third on that one. Could have actually had a big-time rally there. Instead, it ends the inning. And that ends the game as Benintendi falls up to left field. Like I said, David Price, not a great game. Five earned, but did strike out 11. That's kind of been his calling card all year. Has a pretty high ERA for me, but a ton of strikeouts as well. Now, we are 24 games over 500, 84 and 60 coming into this one, looking to finish up the series with a win in the rubber match. Now, look at this one. Bradley down the right field line in the first inning. That one is gone. That's what they tell me. I, I could not believe it. I could have sworn this was a ground roll double, and honestly, I still think it is. I don't know how it's not a ground roll double. I don't know if this is a glitch. You guys are going to see right here. I literally don't know what else to say about it. They said it was a home run. I have literally no clue. Look at this one. If you guys see real quick, the ball bounces at the base of the wall and then bounces over uh, like they called it a home run. So I guess I'll take it. But honestly, that should have been a ground roll double as far as I'm concerned. Now, Bradley is leading off the game for us, uh, like I quickly mentioned, because Bedroy is out today, um, you know, with a quick, uh, you know, rest day. And then <laughs> Sandy Leone in for Blake Swired. He makes the most of his opportunity, hitting one over the monster, giving us a 3-0 lead here in the fifth inning very nice with Cliff Lee on the hill who they signed actually I believe he's one of the top free agents or was one of the top free agents in the show if you guys uh, start up a franchise mode now we do walk Machado and then Adam Jones just makes us pay again I mean what, three home runs in the series a home run in every game I don't really know what else to say this dude just dominated us and we could not get him out him and Machado were killing me this lineup is very very stout and uh, it's definitely something to be reckoned with but we're still got a one run lead Craig Kimball on the hill. He strikes out batter number one here in the ninth inning. And you guys can see right here, he's leading the league with 45 saves, looking for 46 in this one. Got a nasty knuckle curve right there. Oh, my goodness. What a pitch. Getting strikeout number two. And then the final batter of the game. And bam, strikeout number three. All outs on strikeouts. Very nice outing for Kimbrell as Clay Buckles gets the victory for us and we take the series 2-1. to one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know if you're excited to see Hanley and soon Jonathan Lucro will be coming back as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.